Okay, this is going to be a short tutorial here on how to create a playlist um, in YouTube and uh, on your YouTube channel. Uh, think of the playlist as a playlist that's like on your music or on your iPod. So, for instance, if you like rock music, you would uh, put certain songs underneath that playlist. If you like um, jazz music, you would have a you put all the songs that you like underneath that playlist. So it's kind of the same idea there. So first what you do, obviously, is you go to YouTube. Okay. And then you would go ahead and click sign in. Okay. And I'm doing this on my computer here um, where I've signed in before. So it tells me to choose account. Whereas if uh, you work for a certain school district, you have to put in your K-12 email information and things like that so i sign into it okay and then here's my k-12 data center put you would in this box here you put in your uh k-12 uh data center credentials kind of like how you would to uh, to check your email Okay, and then once that boots up here, then it tells it uh, logs you in. Okay. All right, and now here's my. Uh, now I'm signed into my YouTube channel. So unlike subscriptions, like um, over here, subscriptions are different people that uh, I follow, or in this case, quote unquote, subscribe to. Okay, I want to create my own playlist. Okay, so what you do is. You can go to your home page here, or you can go to your library. Okay. And then you, for instance, here's like home. If I click home, okay, this is would be the home page of my YouTube channel. Okay. Now um, think of it this is your home page for like a website. Okay. So if you were to come to this page here, all you have to do is click playlists. Now there's a couple different ways to create playlists on YouTube. Okay, there's a different, there's a couple ways, and I'm going to show you that here. Okay, so let's say um, I have warm-up activities here, football drills, first week activities, net activities, jump roping. Okay, um, let's say I want to do, I want to create a playlist that house that hosts all the videos I like that have to do with basketball uh, activities for uh, physical education so there's a couple ways of doing this okay one is you can search a person that you like like on your uh, on YouTube so for instance this gentleman Ryan Armstrong I know has all kinds of different videos and stuff on his YouTube uh, channel. So I click here. Okay. And let's say I click on videos. Okay. I could do this way to uh, use my playlist, or obviously I could go to his playlist that he's created. And right here he has... 94 videos on basketball activities and lead up activities for skills. Okay. Forgive me for my internet here. Now, here's the way that you can add to your playlist, okay, as this is loading. Okay. Uh, it says PE dribbling game for basketball. So let's say I like this video. Okay, let's say I like this a lot. I can go down here, click Add To. Now, let's say I don't have a playlist created for basketball activities, okay? Here's where you would do that. You go down, click Create New Playlist. Okay. And then I would type in Basketball Activities. Now, again, if you want this to be a public 
playlist where like anybody on YouTube, anybody logged into YouTube could want could search it and they would find you. Uh, would see it. You can make this unlisted where it's there on YouTube, but it's it won't show up. Okay. And then obviously private. If you click private, nobody would have access to this. Okay. So I'm going to make mine public, and I got my video, and I click create. Now you get this little ticker up here that says add it to your playlist. So now to make sure it did that, I can go back to my library. And right here underneath library, it shows basketball activities. That tells me what I've just got done doing on YouTube. It shows you the most recent activities that you've done. So I click on that. And then here's the video that I just put into my playlist. Okay. And if I want to really make sure I did that right... I go to my channel over here, just click this little ticker here, go to my channel. Okay. And then I click playlists. Now here is the basketball playlist that I just got done creating. Click on it. And then here's the video that I just added to it. Okay. And the way I like playlists is because now it's just quick retrieval for you. So you don't have to go search for it and things like that. So now down here, and then YouTube obviously gives you suggestions on what you did. So let's say this gentleman, the PE specialist, is another good uh, resource. If I click on his uh, activity, that okay, and I go through it, and let's say um, I like it a lot, okay. Again, I can click add to. And I can click to the playlist. Here's the playlist that I just created on basketball activities. I click on that. And then there's my notification that let me know that I just added it to it. Okay. So now if I go back to my channel to make sure I did that, it should show me it should show me in my channel. back to my channel here it should show me all the activities that I just put into there into my uh, videos or into my playlist I should say okay so I view my channel forgive me here the internet's just a little bit slow here Okay, so now I go to my playlists, go to my basketball activities, and now it just shows me two videos right there. And it's the two videos that I just added into my channel. And it shows you right here where, under your playlist, this is the videos that I've put underneath that. So, okay. So there's one way. Okay, so now there's one way of creating a playlist in uh, YouTube, okay? And I think this is the most feasible way of doing it. The other kind of way you would have to do this is you'd have to go to your creator studio and um, go to playlists underneath your video manager. Okay, this is the other section option, which I think is another step, but some it works for others. I just like the add to part. I think it's easier. Playlist, here's where I would go underneath the creator studio, click new playlist. And then just like I did with the basketball activities, here's where you would type in uh, whatever playlist you are creating. So anyway, that's um, a quick little tutorial on how to do a playlist. 
And any questions, hit me up on Twitter. And I hope everybody has a great year.